absolutely not. Um, yeah, I mean, today was on our end was pretty terrible. Um, we had Perkins start out okay, you know, got in a little bit of trouble, and then just everything the wheels fell off that that one inning for sure. Um, they kept they kept running it up, and they kept you know putting good at bats together, and at the same time we gave them um, extra outs that we needed we didn't need to give them. Uh, and three pitches later, you know, it seemed like an eternity later, uh, we were able to get out of the inning, but the damage was done. So, uh, unfortunate senior day for us. And how, how did kind of things snowball on you guys? Because after the Western Kentucky series, y'all were talking about we ways you could chance. make a conference tournament. Right, absolutely. So we, we ended up going to, to Charlotte and, and you know, they grinded very well. Uh, they grinded us out pretty good. Um, Cooper got hurt. Uh, Hal got hurt. So all that happened like right before that um, that series, and that that kind of kind of put a dagger in us. Really, we're missing two big pieces uh, of our team right there. And what do you kind of say to the seniors? Some of those guys who are in this transition between two different head coaches and program changing and everything that's going on. I mean, for us, we, we're hoping that, you know, they're, they're just, they stay a part of the program. Uh, definitely, we've been able to rally a lot of the alumni. They're, they are, um, or were, in a very unique point in time in Rice baseball history. So um, we'll see what they, what, they, what they become and how they look back at this. I mean, right now it's a little bit of a blur, I think, for them going through everything. I mean, I can recall going through some, a period like this when I was here, uh, I think after the next couple of weeks, uh, they'll reflect and we'll see, you know, how they feel about uh, being a part of this moving forward and how they can help us. And then changes for you too. What, looking back, what was kind of the, the hardest part of, you know, your first season here as a head coach? Um, there was a lot of moving pieces here. There's the way uh, the guys think. I think um, it was a little bit different. I think our, how we, we we measure our success and what our expectancy is, I think is going to be better of, of moving forward with guys and what we're gonna need to be successful also. Um, there's definitely some opportunities to be successful if we can execute what we want, um, especially on the pitching side. I mean, I thought the first three weeks or four weeks of the season for us defensively was horrendous. So that's, that's probably never gonna happen again here. Um, because defense is, is going to be something that we value a lot. Um, and at the same time, we're going to have a turf field, so that should help our defense right away with that. Um, those are some things that, that I can think of right away. I think uh, I think we won't be this slow ever, as far as I'm here. Um, moving forward as, as well, as we're going to be much faster, much athletic, much more athletic than we are at the moment. Um, and just kind of we're able to just grind some things, some more things out. I mean, before we get all the all the uh, studs that we want, we're gonna have to create a mindset. I think just a more a gritty mindset to be able to to get on the field. Will you be using the uh, transfer portal as a part of some of those changes, just because of what you get, the the, just to mix uh, mix up some guys. I think I think the transfer portal can be useful, um, but at the same time, I think I'm going to value uh, the athleticism and the uh, and the mindset um, over anything else. Uh, for now, I think we need to we need to create a culture. We need to create a better culture. Uh, we need to create uh, some things that are a little bit more aligned with what I want uh, as for a, for a player. Um, so all those things are on the table. And then you were pretty quick, I think, all the way back to practices before the season, not to promise the moon mm -hmm. um, before this year got here. Obviously, mm -hmm. you knew it would be tough, mm -hmm. um, but you, did you kind of envision it being maybe this tough, 25 uh, games? I, no, no, there? absolutely not. I'm, I mean, I felt like we could definitely, you know, get up there and, 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 and try to see about pushing, getting to closer to 30 wins than, than not. So it's definitely been – not as good as I had hoped. Um, and again, it's like the execution of it uh, was not good. The, um, I feel like some of the ways that some of the guys reacted was unexpected as well. Um, I don't know where the panic button, where it got hit or where it was pressed uh, for some of the guys, but it, it definitely affected them. 
and it was hard for them to, to, to come back from it. I think some of them did, but you know, the damage was done. To give you some solace and senior Sunday and not seeing guys like Garibay and Becker and Smigelski out there, knowing you will get a bunch of guys back that did produce. Yeah, I mean, we do have some uh, a nice young core, which is nice uh, on the pitching side as well. They have potential. Um, and those three guys you mentioned are, are, are very good left-handed batters. So I think we can add some some complementary pieces to that, you know, we, and, and, and definitely improve our defense. I think our pitching is going to be better already. I think the guys that are coming in, we have some pretty big arms coming. So um, we should be making it a little more exciting and a little more competitive on our end. Um, plus, we'll, we'll have a full fall with them along with with the lab and everything else that we're bringing. So that should help uh, quite a bit. On the hitting side, it's going to be the same thing. Our, the lab's up and running there. So we're going to be able to, to get to the nitty gritty of some things and, and definitely – uh, be able to breathe into more of what we want and what we expect on the offensive side um, as well as the pitching side. And last, what do you tell the guys four games left? What are y'all playing for? Well, we're still, we're, I mean, for me, it's like I try to win every game I play. So I still, I'm still expecting them to go out and give me a high effort and get out there and, and try to win a ball game. I mean, the season's not done yet. You know, we have four games to go. I would definitely like to go at U of H and, and, and play them tough and, and try and see about getting a win there um, and then go to FIU and, and just end on a high note. So, I mean, FIU has been struggling as well. So, I mean, it's definitely a team that we can beat. Um, so, we're not, we're, we're, we're going to go and give it what we got. I mean, I, I won't stand for anything less. Thanks. All right, Coach, yeah. thank you. All right.